Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Welcome back to another video. So, very long overdue, very long awaited, just new video. Anyway, probably going to be a little bit of a short one. Just wanted to pop in here because, first of all, I wanted to say thank you for all the new subscribers, all the new, just all the people who have been, who have stopped by my channel, who have subscribed, who have been here and just been you know awaiting whatever video you know I want to put out and stuff like that so I just want to say thank you for all the people who have subscribed and just you know hit that subscribe button so anyway moving to a very exciting another exciting point of this video seed starting so in front of you as you see I found these I put them on Instagram I was I, don't know, I was excited about it because I've been seeing a lot of people um, well, not a lot of people, but I've been seeing a couple people, um, finding, like, these seed starting trays, like, the reusable ones, with, like, the bottom is, like, um, silicone, so you can just pop the seed link out, and, you know, it's easier. So, I've been seeing people find these. I found, like, I, I found them, and I got, like, three of them. So, it's just like this. You can just plant your little seedlings in there. Put the seed, I mean, you know, the seed starter mix in there. And put the seed starter mix in there and just, you know, and boom. When you transplant them, you can just easily pop them at the bottom. No crinkly, messed up, ruined bottoms or anything like that. So, I wanted to kind of like show you, boom, that I'm going to start some seeds. Um, I've kind of got, already got my seed starting mix put in here. I just kind of use some to standard miracle grow um i'm probably going to these are the seeds i'm thinking of starting these are kind of oh, oh i'm sorry these are kind of a little bit late but you know whatever <laughs> so i kind of um got some lemon basil some of this they say on the back um like start seeds indoors six to eight weeks before last frost and i'm kind of past that um i'm in the like maybe like five ish going on four ish weeks but you know whatever it's i'm starting i want to start some a little bit early so that when it does warm up i can just easily pop them outside they can start up have a little bit of i don't know an extra step up or extra leg up i guess you could say but these are some of the things i'm starting some things i got new today so you know i wasn't able to pre-start them before so um, those are some of those seeds. I kind of just got them in on a box in front of me, <laughs> but labeled out and stuff like that of when I wanted to start some of them. Or just like, you know, the ones I had before. But I got some of these peppers, um, some of those that I want to start. And then I got some more tomatoes that I want to start. So, yeah, just gonna be doing that all right so the cool thing that i just saw like when i flipped and took off like the wrapper of the um this? of the seed tray of the seed you know the, okay i took off the wrapper of the seed tray is what i'm trying to say <laughs> and in the inside it's really cool because it has a um um an easy to grow like plan diagram they call it a seed planting gram so it tells you basically the same mapped out um little blocks that you have on here because you have the a b c d going all the way down and you have the one two three four going across it's the same as on your seed track i don't want to dump over my soil but you can see you have a b is right there but the dirt's on it you have c and d and then as you go from left to right you have the one two oops three and four so you're able to put exactly where you want oh focus come on oh come on there we go you're able to put um you know exactly what seed you put where especially if you plan it out and write it down um you're able to you know what i put in one a one b one c one d same thing for two a two uh, three a and four a so and they give you two 
pages so if you mess up on the first one there's you know another one on the back so it's just you know a two-sided thing and it's just the wrapper like the um underneath the underneath the um you know the label is just on the back so i thought that was cool so i'm going to go ahead and fill out um i shouldn't say fill out my <laughs> I'm blanking on what I'm trying to do because I've been taking it's been taking me forever to even put like soil into one of into anything and I don't know I just found these today so I'm actually excited about these so before you know the season earliness is over to be able to put anything in here I want to be able to you know start my seeds so even though it's March 3rd and I'm very behind on a lot of stuff. But as long as I feel like, because most of the seeds, so I've read, read the back of them. And a lot of the seeds that I wanted to initially start anyway, I don't have to start them to, you know, get something. I, I want to, if I wanted to start them, you know, indoors and get them early all set and, you know, ready to go as soon as the frost breaks, then yeah, I, I had that option. But with a lot of them... The ones I'm talking about that you know I wanted to do that to or do that with I can also direct sow some of those so or a lot of those so either way I feel like it's a win-win so yeah and as I'm looking through a lot of the seeds I kind of have narrowed down what I actually really do want so yeah we're gonna be playing a lot of those right now and you know I'm probably going to be like going back and forth between like showing you this and then probably going straight to the end result. If that happens, I'm so sorry. Just, you know, lighting and all that right now. But I'm trying to get a little bit out and trying to record a little bit by a little bit of just me doing something of my garden so that I can visually have some something visually to look back on and not be frustrated that I didn't at least like get the little bits so i'm getting the little bits right now because yeah boom so anyway enough talking and getting to the seeds. <laughs> all righty so you probably can partially see me but i'm going to start well actually i'm going to get a pen and a label um like I was telling you about on here, I'm going to get a pen and label uh, where I want to put my seeds at so that I can remember where my seeds are. Get a marker. That's bigger. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Starting off in the eighties. So I guess I got like what? I have these five. Um, so one of these is gonna be moved to the two A. So probably I'll probably take the cantaloupe to be in the two A since I got two tomatoes and two basil's. So I'll probably do. Let me go this way. Do basil and tomato. So. I'm gonna write down first before I put them in there. That way I make sure that I put the one right one in that I want. So one A I'll put the lemon basil. Uh, I'll go two, I'll put the dark opal purple basil. tomato oh well <laughs> tomato roma vf and then for the last slot will be i'll just go ahead and put tomato 
Same way, keep it the same way. Jubilee. J-U-B-I-L-E-E. -E. Alrighty. So, I'll go ahead and put those in and then I'll... So I won't confuse myself. So, um, go ahead and start with Lemon Dark Opal. Alright, so I'm going to... Lemon. Start basil hopefully i'm putting that in frame i'm using the back of my camera or my back yeah my back camera so hopefully you can see hey y'all just popping in um i realized that i really didn't give y'all a good view um <laughs> plus i was using the back of my camera and didn't realize that i cut off like the first couple of well what i was trying to show y'all the um the seeds and everything it cut off so i wanted to show you exactly like what seeds i'm planting what i am you know what the things look like so this going through is going to be like a i guess a little seed haul then so the one of the things or you know going in no particular order i guess i could just say um <laughs> is uh the this cherokee purple tomato that i grew or that i'm you know growing right here i'm just gonna probably lay them up here um, the next was this, um, San Marzano tomato that I am growing. Um, uh, oh, see, he's trying to fall. <laughs> Just some, uh, marigolds. These are French double dwarf mix colors. So, they look really pretty. So, I was like, you know. Oh, oh, no. Okay. See, he's trying to fall on my lap. And those were um, six weeks indoors is when I was supposed to start those, but you know, like I said before. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, moving on to um, some basil. This was the lemon basil, but the first thing I was trying to show you and literally got cut off. So, yeah, and then my video or my phone decided that it wanted to be full of memory or whatever. So, oh, cut it off again. Um, so, yeah. So, here's everything. But here's the lemon basil that I wanted to try, and it looked pretty cool. So I want to try that again. I tried some of these I tried to grow before, and they didn't really come up that well. So yeah. But um, this is dark opal, purple basil. Thought that was really pretty too. So wanted to try that. This is the Burpees Super Steak Hybrid. Um, look like a nice tomato. I'm going to try it. <laughs> um, this Roma BF tomato. That looked pretty nice. Um, I'm actually in, you know, my area. I pro like, you know, the bigger tomatoes, I feel like I probably can't grow just because I don't have, like, full, full sun. But I'm still trying to attempt to try to grow them anyway. So that's why I have some smaller Roma tomatoes mixed in there. So, you know. There we go. We're, we're, we're gonna try all the tomatoes, you know? <laughs> There's some, um, this, uh, what? Anyway, this tomato jubilee I wanted to try. It's like a more orangey color tomato. Not like reddish, but more orange. So, well, that was cool. And then we have a cantaloupe that I wanted to try. So, yeah. It's a little small one. It's so cute. It's like a little mini one. <laughs> But yeah, this Minnesota Midget, which is cute. And those are like in the six to eight week indoors type of um, frame. And we're going to, boom, go into some peppers. So yeah, hot stuff. Yeah, some hot stuff. Habanero pepper. I thought this was, oh no, it's just the color attracted me to it. So <laughs> I don't know, the packet had a bunch of different colors. So I don't know. If they all do come out just different colors and stuff, that'd be cool. But then we got some hot Italian or hot pepper, Italian pepper, pepperoncini, pepperoncini. Yeah. <laughs> thought this was cool. It's kind of, I don't know, it's, it looks similar to um, banana pepper and I haven't, I didn't have the seeds for banana pepper this year. I was going to get them, but I probably might get them later on. I don't know. But yeah, so for now, I just have these. 
No, no, it was dropped. Okay. Like, I knew it. Um, then we have, like, the last pepper, or the last seed that, you know, I started, is this hot salsa blend. So it's kind of a bunch of different mix of peppers. So I thought that was cool. So I started this. So, yeah, I might have a different, a couple different peppers. I might have our own hot sauce, you know, trying to blend some stuff up. <laughs> but, yeah, so that was all the seeds, plus the one that I dropped on the ground. <laughs> um, and those were, the last ones were, like, supposed to be eight-week indoors. But, you know, like I said before, a lot of these seeds are, um, if I didn't start them indoors in their you know, window of when they can be started indoors. I can also just direct sow them outside after the frost. Um, like this one. Um, you know. Well, this one, it says start indoors, but... You know. A lot of the seeds you can just start outdoors, I guess, if you would like. Maybe, but... You know, transplant them. I like this one. You know, you can start it indoors. Um, or so directly in garden at a sunny location after frost. You know, danger is past, stuff like that. So, you know, you don't... It just depends on the seed itself and your area and just, you know, the weather. So, but that is all the seeds that I started for right now. Um, I kind of later on want to start some flowers, but I won't do that until closer to my last frost, which in my area is um, expected to be like April 13th around that area, or you know, April 13th is my last frost day, so I probably, I won't be doing flowers until um, like the last week of March. And then some other ones I won't start until like maybe uh, like maybe the second week of April or so, just because they only take a few days to germinate, and I want to germinate them, you know, closer, more closer to you know the last frost date, so that way I can you know have these things sprout a little bit. Hopefully it's warm enough outside I can kind of transplant them, you know, or just kind of like. Um, ease them. Um, what am I trying to say? Reduce the shock <laughs> of transplanting them, you know, outside and stuff like that. So, yeah, it should be fun. It should be fun. So, I'm excited for this growing year of gardening, and I'm just, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. I have a lot of exciting things that I want to try to grow. Um, a little sneaky peeky of maybe. I don't know if you can see some things in here. Anything green? Yeah, see some stuff. You can see a little bit, but yeah. That's a little sneak peek of, yeah. So, some stuff that is already sprouting um, is, what, March? Say March 8th? So, like, I'm excited. I'm excited, but yeah. Anyway, that's a little sneaky peeky, but... And it's clear and everything, but I just can't see if you can see that, so. <laughs> Hopefully you can see them. Well, I was about to say, hopefully you can see what I'm seeing, but I mean, that is what I'm seeing, but I'm hopefully you can see it. Anyway, moving on, <laughs> as you can see, the blabber and that part of me has not changed. It's still here. <laughs> still trying to get used to what I'm trying to say, but I have this little, it's, um, so we got this from Tractor, was it Tractor Supply? Because we went to Tractor Supply maybe like a few weeks ago and, um, my husband got this little, it's called a seed, what is it, a seed sower, easy to use seed sower, and it's like, you're supposed to, like, put some seeds in here, and then you can use it to plant your seeds, but I'm not going to be using as many seeds to put, like, I'm probably going to be using, like, maybe two or three, maybe in each little cell, so I'm probably just going to, I'm going to use this actually just make my holes, and then, you know, probably pick up some seeds and then drop the seeds in, so I'll use it as, like, a little seed scooper. So, yes, but yes, yeah, from Burpee, again, Burpee, <laughs> not sponsored by Burpee, but they do make some really cool products, so, and that's another thing I learned this year, I'll probably, I'll have to make a video on just like, 
I don't know, just a, a lot of stuff that I've, like, a lot of my favorites, like, planty, gardening, and, I guess, house planting, too. Like, both, there's been a lot of, like, favorites and stuff. So, anyway, I'm gonna go in with the lemon, basil, and slot A1. I'm just gonna make, kind of make a hole first, a little bit. A little bit of a hole. So, I can kind of ground myself where I'm going. Um... I'll try to get some seeds out. See, okay. I may just pour it in my hand and then pour it into the. It's my neighbor. Hopefully, you can't hear him. <laughs> um, it says on the seed packet. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, five to seven days of germination. Maybe I shouldn't be planting these this early. <laughs> um, but it takes, it says six, start six to eight weeks before planting outdoors. So I want to try. But anyway, um, we're going to put this. Because fourth of an inch deep, 10 inch spacing. We're going to put like a couple of them, maybe like three. I put them in different spots. So do like a little triangle here, here, and here. I'll do it like that, you know. Shake it up a little bit. Okay. I think that's one. These things are very tiny. So I may Okay, favorite lemon basil seed. Probably should have just sprinkled this or something because it's extremely tiny. <laughs> like I don't know, you can probably I don't know if you can see how tiny those seeds are. Oops, my head's camera. <laughs> but those are very tiny seeds. Like, very tiny seeds. Um, I think I got one right there. I'm gonna put it in there. Okay, there's the lemon basil. <laughs> I feel like I should have. I don't know. I'm still doing this a little bit new. As far as like trying to seed start and everything. So there goes my lemon basil. It's like my third third year gardening, like small scale house, um, apart house, small scale apartment gardening is my third year. So I'm gonna just check off that I planted that one. I'm gonna go for the dark opal purple dark opal yeah <laughs> make sure i'm saying it right dark opal purple basil next and that is going to go in one b which will be going downward so everything is going down this way and just like the lemon basil the dark opal looks the same small seeded. <laughs> okay.
Alrighty, so my video ended up cutting off, but this is literally, well, a couple days later, but this is the final result of the, um, what am I trying to say? The seedlings of planting, you know, everything. So I have them in a box down here under um, a grow light and on a heating mat, and then I have them up here so you can see the seeds that I started um, a couple days ago, March 3rd. You can see um, all the plants that I have up here. I'm just kind of hung them like on a string with the plants or with my house plants right here. So yeah, there we go. That's, that's in the result. So hopefully these little babies will um, root and grow and I can give you another update of when they actually our little baby plants and we can plant them and transfer them outside and they can be spring <sighs> i'm so ready i'm so ready but yeah but thank you for watching thank you for clicking on this video thank you for just exploring this garden journey for year three in a row with me um i kind of haven't been the best at every year putting something out or you know just little by little but hopefully this year I can kind of keep more of an up-to-date, more of a, you know, more of a scheduled type of, I don't know, not, you know, seriously scheduled, but at least like, yeah, somewhat consistent is what I'm trying to say. So thank you for watching and until next time, have a great day.